Hey guys, I'm that KSP guy, and in this video, I'm gonna be sending 100 curls to the moon because I just hit 100 subscribers, and that's a pretty big number. And <coughs> epic segment. If you want to subscribe, you can make the number on this sad little graph bigger. Anyway, let's get into the build. This thing had like way too many engines and made Starship look like a baby. <coughs> Now, in the VAB, you can see me using the very large crew capsules. They're almost as large as your mother, as in multiple meters wide and multiple meters tall. Now, I did add solar panels, but I added different ones because I didn't need that much electricity. And, you know, this build is actually turning out pretty well. The satellite dish did end up exploding off in orbit, not in orbit, in atmosphere, but I fixed that in a later iteration of the build, and it all worked out fine. Now you can see me adding the hydrogen fuel. This will get us into orbit and take us all the way to the moon. And you can see me here filling up all of the curl capsules. There were a lot of curls in this. I think like 132 or something. So more than 100. I didn't get them all out once we finally made it to the moon. I only got out around 100. And let's watch it. I was getting around three, two or three frames per second here. Not very good. As you can see, it's shaking a bit. We can see that in the time lapse. But in when I was actually launching it, it didn't uh, didn't do that because I couldn't see. It was just so laggy. It was pretty hard to control because I didn't put arrow, and you can see it really wanted to lean to the left, even though it was clearly leaning to the right. Um, and it, I just burned it. As you can see, the satellite dish is about to explode right about there-ish. And yeah, it wasn't very good, so I didn't have any communication with Kerbin. I, I thought I'd press through this mission and I'd burn into orbit anyway. Um, it was pretty laggy. You can see exactly how laggy it was there. And I didn't, that was without all the engines firing. But eventually, once I finally got a Mun encounter, the entire craft just exploded. So that gave me an opportunity to launch again. This time, you can see I have a big heat shield protecting most of the things that would probably burn off of the craft. And it was, you know, pretty decent. Um, it was basically the same as the first launch. Um, my FPS was a bit worse this time, actually. I was only getting like 2 FPS, but that's okay. As you can see here, I'm burning towards the MUN pretty, pretty quickly. As you can see, I'm also checking all the Kerbals to make sure they're able to get out on EVA. And I'm burning retrograde to capture with the MUN. And, yeah, leaving my inner planet, inner celestial tug. I'm gonna land on the MUN here. And there's all the Kerbals. This video is over now. Time for me to disappear for the next couple weeks. Anyway, this is the end screen. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.